Hi, everyone. Josh Silver, founder of Pulse Energy Technologies here in Los Angeles. Uh, welcome to our Clinic Spotlight segment where we're going to take uh, some time uh, and spend a little bit with our practitioners out in the field that have had PEMF for a long time and uh, hear what their experiences have been in the field. We've got a lot of messages and questions. How do you do this with PEMF? How does this work? What are the results here? And uh, instead of hearing from our website, we thought we'd talk to some of our experienced practitioners. Uh, joining me today is Dr. Heather White, who is a longtime PEMF practitioner. I think I was looking it up. I think we've known each other 10 years. It's got to be because I knew you guys at the yeah. trade shows first. It's, it's got to be yes. close to that. Now 2014. So I think we're yeah. coming up on not, it's been nine years. Nine. Yeah. Crazy. Um, and so I wanted to bring you on first because I know that you've had the PEMF in your clinic for a, a year now, but you've been involved with PEMF since then. And you have a pretty compelling story of how you got involved. So I wanted to just hear a little bit from you. How did you get involved with PEMF? Where did you first experience it and, and sort of go from there? So I was practicing in this area and then I had moved to Colorado. When I came back from Colorado, I was meeting with multiple offices and practitioners to see about joining an office. And there was one of your colleagues who had actually the PMF machine. And when I had gone in there to talk to him, interview, kind of see what their practice was like, they actually showed me this, the pulsed electromagnetic um, machine. They're like, oh, do you want to try it? And so he put it on my hip for like 10 minutes. And I was like, oh, wow. And I got up, I'm like, because I've been suffering from hip pain. And I'm like, that I was like, wow, that was amazing. And then, then fast forward, I got mixed up and moving back. And then I got into practice with another practitioner and you ended up randomly coming to speak to him about this pulse machine. And I was telling my the other doctor, I'm like, no, this, this thing is awesome. Like you should really think about getting one of these in here. And he's like, really? And I said, yeah, I've had this done at a different practice when I was interviewing out here years ago. And this is an awesome machine. So that's kind of how I got involved with using it on a day-to-day -day basis with my patients in that clinic. And then in 2022, once COVID calmed down, I moved out on my own with another really good longtime friend of mine. I think I've known him for 25 years. We moved in to practice together. We share space. And I went, reached out to you and got my own machine because I knew how beneficial it is. But you know, what's funny is this other doctor was very skeptical of this machine. And I think you remember, remember I when do. He, came I do. In, he was like, oh, okay, I want the research. He just came up to me la this last week and was like, oh, you know, like there's a lot of like in-depth research on this machine. You understand that, right? I said, yeah. I go, this is, <laughs> and so now he's starting to refer his patients to use my machine. And it's like, it took almost over a year, but like he is very convinced of what it can do now. See, now that's awesome because yeah. I always try to say with this machine, you cannot sell it or, or market it. It's all about education or the proof is in the pudding. And it's, it seems like the longer that it stays there, the more people start to look at it and then they experience the results. And Well, people hear it and they want to know what that is. And they, they are like, wait, what is, what's going on over there? You know? And for him, he's such a research based guy. He has to have all of that in front of him. So even as much as I gave to him, I started treating some of his patients on it and a lot of, uh, a lot of he's, he specializes in running. So a lot of them were stress fractures. Well, I've been able to help boost like the recovery for stress fractures and getting these um, runners back on, on the track and back out and for cross, cross country. I mean, it's been pretty awesome. Okay. So that's great. And that was something I had told you where I was going to ask later, but it's a good point now. So you've seen good results with suspensory, with ankle, foot, small joint, things like that as well. Oh yeah. When it, like, let's just talk about like an inversion sprain or, you know, a ankle, a typical ankle sprain it could be from basketball, it could be from soccer, whatever it is. I mean, we've been able to reduce that inflammatory response so much quicker and the people are getting back out to play even faster. I mean, that's the biggest component of this is the like the inflammatory reduction. It also yeah. reduces pain, but it also speeds healing because it's j helping to re-energize all these cells that are fatigued. Yeah. From yep. from trying to heal. 
Yes. And you hit, you said something I, I find critically important with this machine is a lot of the times when I talk to the different practitioners, the physical therapists, the chiropractors, a lot of people that are sports medicine based like you, they all have said the same thing that the inflammatory response is a critical component of the PEMF and that's where they see the results right away. And so if yeah. you can interrupt that, if you can change that, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I've, I've read a lot of the stuff that you guys all have, have talked about. And to see that that is happening, I got to imagine you're seeing a faster return to play oh. just from that alone. Just from that alone um, back. I, okay. So I had an NFL guy that came in. Well, sorry. He was going out for the combine. Sure. He was training with a local a trainer, a local guy here that trains a lot of these athletes. And he found out about me and came in and he literally threw his back out squatting like 400 pounds. And he wasn't able to, he had in two weeks was supposed to be at this training camp. And with, with that, with PMF, I mean, he, we had him on there like two to three, well, three times a week, he was back out and was able to try out two weeks later. I mean, that's awesome. And, you know, in the sports world, that's a, that's a, that's a, financial figure that they're able to to save or reduce just because the the, the value of these combines, these events, these performances, the competitions, which translate to their contract. Well, not just that is how much time they also put into training and all the money they put into that, right. To try to get the opportunity to try to be able to play in the NFL. So, I mean, there was a lot of that. And then uh, one that's not so much athletic base is just recently, my mom had a, um, a colon resection she has very bad diverticulitis and she, they sure. had to go in and they had to take out five to six inches of her colon. Well, they punctured her in about seven or eight different spots. And as she's been recovering, she's getting this weird, like sensational dermatomal pain along her abdomen. And okay. it's really painful to the point where it's pins and needly, like just, and you can't even have a shirt touch it. So I told her, come in. She was nervous because she, of the contracting component of this machine, I said, look, it will hold, we're not going to get close. We're going to just use it as a tool to help with inflammation. After two treatments, it was completely gone. That's awesome. No. no. And she even was like I mean, shocked. She goes, wait, no, I'm, I go, Ma, I told you this is, she goes, no, 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 but I don't have any pain today. She was like beyond herself. Which, I mean, that's, that's yeah. awesome. And it's, it's a family member. So that is like an extra win too. Yeah. And then one other, sorry, I can go forever, but no, that's, that's just, just awesome. Just hear that, that that you got to do it on your mom. You got results. That's, that's really cool. So, um, there's a woman that comes in, she's had endometriosis so bad that almost every time she gets her cycle uh, a week, a couple days prior to her cycle, she ends up in the ER on morphine because the pain is so bad and she hasn't gone in to really, she wants to be able to reproduce so they haven't gone in and done a hysterectomy or anything because she's young she's in her 20s well about two to three days prior to her period she comes in here we put her on the machine for a couple days in a row and it is so much more manageable where she doesn't even have to go to the er and that's a great so i mean i that's a win both absolutely that I, my sister has a similar issue. She's had um, two surgeries for endometriosis. And so I, I sh- sh- the same thing happens and it's, it's, she's still, it's a difficult month, but the level of when she uses the machine or not is dramatically different. And people don't understand the suffering that goes on. You know, people were talking about broken arms and sports injuries and, and all this. And we don't think about some of these day-to-day things and not day-to-day things, things that are day-to-day issues that it's a daily struggle. You know, yeah. if not, I broke my arm and now in six weeks, I'm going to be good. This is a lifetime issue. And so to hear those results, I think are awesome because people don't hear that. Um, I have one question related just to a little bit to you personally. Um, we're going to show some pictures of your clinic and, and, and sort of uh, show a little bit of, of you. You, I've known you for years. You're in phenomenal shape. I work out all the time. I, I pattern myself as somebody that's in great shape. And I wish that I was in the shape that you were in. And please take that as a compliment. And I know that some of your patients also are the, the healthy lifestyle, exercise a lot. And when I look at PEMF, I see all the results of all of the injuries, of all of the sick people, of all the illnesses, of all the challenges. What I wanted to ask was for somebody like yourself and somebody like your patients, and this would translate to a pro athlete too, what do you see with somebody that's already healthy? What sort of improvements post-workout, post-exercise, post-performance, all of those things, where do you see the PEMF? Oh. 
a lot, I mean, for me, when patients come in, even if they're just coming in to get adjusted and just stay, you know, aligned, I, I will use the machine on their quads, their calves, depending on what type of athlete they are. If it's shoulder, I use it more of as a preventative measure too. So they'll be like, you know, Hey, can I jump on there? Because last time after you did that, I was, I like, I recovered the next day. I wasn't as sore. I'm like, Oh, awesome. You know, after a hard workout. So, I mean, even the NFL guy that was coming in that when I was working on his lower back, we would hit his hamstrings, we'd hit his quads, we'd hit his lower extremities. And he would within the next day, he could go back and train at a higher level without being as sore. Because it's like you it's about recovery, right? Yeah, you got to get up and do it again the next day. So for him, for him, it he noticed huge improvement. So it doesn't always have to be in a pain state. I use it also, I mean, even on myself post extra workout, I'll use it on myself just to, to kind of almost like help with elastic lactic acid buildup, help sure. with that post workout soreness. Cause that's really what can, you know, make or break you when it comes to trying to have to get back out there and do it again. I had an NFL team recently tell me they've been using it a lot pre and post. And I said, what do you mean? And they use it in the morning when a certain player comes in, mm-hmm. they do their stuff for the day and then they use it again before they leave. And I was thinking about that as you were saying that because I, you're seeing it almost as performance enhancement and then recovery. And in the middle, it's preventative because you're doing the left and the right half of the coin. So I think that's a really good way to approach it. It makes a lot of sense, at least to me. Yep, definitely. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> with with that, so let me ask you, I, I just have a couple more questions that I'm sure people are going to want to know. What type of marketing, if any, do you do for the PEMF? How do you share it with patients or get the word out? What sort of, what do you do? What's your, your sort of niche with this? Niche. Okay. So I've done marketing online, like on my website. So I have it on there. In in here, we have brochures that you've given me. and But really in the office, it, you don't need marketing because people hear it and they want to yep. know what it is. And they want to go on it and try it. And then they, you, once you've got them on there and you try it, they're like, oh, I want to, I want to keep doing this. It's just kind of that you don't need, it does its own marketing. Yeah. But I have done, um, so I did have signs made almost like yard signs that you would have for like an election. Totally. And I had some of those made and I put them around the gym that I train at and close to my office. And I've had like multiple people that have come in just to try it. And every single one of those person, people that has, have bought packages and now they're client, now they're patients. Now they come in and get adjusted too. They're just not here for that as well. So that's been beneficial. That's the main thing that I do, but I I'm sure there's ways of using a marketing tool to blast out and go on social media, but it kind of does its own marketing. If you have a patient base that's coming in and you have somebody out in the open on it, it will sell itself. So honestly, what you are saying to me is the same thing I've heard over almost 20 years for the practitioners that see the most success. Somebody once told me when I first got in, it's the Jim Jones, give them a sip of the Kool-Aid type of thing, (laughs) you know, and, and, but that's what it is, is you can't, it's such a unique thing. They just have to hear it and experience it. Now, now, not everybody has seen your setup. You guys have a fantastic setup. But the patients, the people that are there waiting, they can hear and see oh, yeah. the machine and what's going on. And I, that's the key because people are curious, why is that person using that thing that's making that noise? And then you put it on them for a couple of minutes and now you're not selling anything they've tried. Yeah. So I was, I was honestly hoping you were going to say that, that that's what you're doing because that's, that's what I've seen the most success with. Well, Br- <laughs> the other doctor here, he's so funny. He calls it my bug zapper. Like at first, <laughs> he's like, oh, you're putting somebody on the bug zapper? And I was like... I'm like, look it. I'm like, that's it. Get in here. Get out over here. And he has a knee. His knee probably needs to be part part of it needs to be replaced. He needs a partial. And so he comes in and I treated him for like 20 minutes on it. And he gets off. He's like, oh, okay. Well, the bug zapper works. So now it's a joke that he says to me. Because it kind of sounds like that in a sense. But it was, yeah. I love that. That's that's great. (laughs) That's great. Um so the last question I have, and if you don't mind sharing uh, at least as much as you're comfortable with, how do you guys typically charge for it in the office? Is it you, like, what's, what's your process? Because different people charge different ways for PEMF and it's good to get an idea of, of how people go about paying for it. Yeah. 
So every time somebody wants to try it, that's that's a waived fee, right? I just let them get on it. Sure. I want Demo them to session. try it. I want them to see it. Like I said, though, it, once they've been on it once, they want to do it again. So I either charge them per session or I sell them packages and um, where they can buy five, 10, you know, it depends on the injury. Typically, I always at least recommend five. But if somebody has a fracture and we're trying to get like or a you know or a stress sure. fracture, I, I'll automatically recommend ten. And and most people don't even blink at that. Sure. So, yeah, I would imagine because people understand that chiropractic and really healing in general is a process over a period of time. Yeah, they 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 recognize a package is best because they're going to get x amount of sessions in in a short period of time and that's where they get the results yeah and especially with like fractures or like major strains or sprains i see it you know you got to give it it builds on each session builds on it itself right so you yep. do you'll notice improvement with one session don't get me wrong but when you do it consistently for a time frame like as a therapeutic modality you see even more benefit that's so great that's, yeah so like it's like kind of like that acceleration that you can see so I always say, yeah, one time you'll notice an improvement, but you really need to have it consistently for a little sure. while. Sure. Like working yeah. out, like diet. Just like, like anything, all, like all, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Makes sense to me. Um, I lied. I actually, we have two more minutes, so I, I, I'm going to put you on the spot and ask one more question. What is the one case that pops out over your over the, lo the period of time that you've used the machine that you think about, wow, it worked on this. Is there one that sticks out where you go, this is my one from X amount of years ago or okay. months ago? I have a lady, okay, I have a young woman in her 20s who comes, the mom brought her in and she was suicidal. And I, she says, look, it, I, I don't want, she's been on multiple medications and it's made her more suicidal, which can be a side effect of those. And I... So she said, can we just try this PEMF on her head? Can we've done it for concussion before? Can we try this? And I said, yeah, let's just do it. What The worst thing that can happen is no change. Sure. So we did five sessions on, on there and it dramatically affected her mood. And even the mom reached out to me and said, like, she's so much better. She's more stable. She's, you know, back to work. She's back to school. So, I mean, for me, like I went into that going, okay, this is kind of a shot out of the dark, but let's just, I'm worth, it's worth trying, you know? And I, I have to say that was pretty impressive to me. That is pretty impressive. And I will tell you as somebody marketing the machine out there in the world, when I talk about there's FDA clearances with different versions of the technology for bipolar, for depression, for things like that. I get weird looks, but then I hear these stories and I, that's why I continue to ignore and the weird looks because the proof is in the pudding. And I, I've heard a few stories like this and that those to me are the remarkable cases. That's why we're, we're doing this. Well, is the fact this, healing is cool, but this is giving somebody their life back. Their life back. And, I, and I, as a disclaimer, quick disclaimer is I never, tell any patient to ever get off meds or do any of that. Sure. Like I always say if it, we're doing this in conjunction with whatever you're taking or whatever you're not taking. And we can just see if it can enhance what everything that you're doing to try to, to work with this, this condition. Yeah. Right. So that just putting that out there, but yeah. I just Sometimes know it's just adding ingredients into the soup that makes it better. Exactly. And that's, but, yeah. but it's the most, I mean, it, but the great thing about it is it's not drugs. It's not, med, it's not, um, you know, uh, topical. It's not, yeah. it, it's, it's not, I mean, it's, it's really just, and it's not focused. temporary. It's not it's temporary. Not, yeah. It's just focused even, energy work, which is yeah. awesome. Awesome. So, yeah. So we, we've actually covered a lot and I'm thrilled. I was worried at first I had all these questions. I didn't know if we're going to have enough time and we did awesome. Is there anything else that you'd like to add, say about PEMF for the people out there before we go? Um, I would like to say that Josh is amazing. He is so responsive. If you have any questions about the machine at any time or if something is faltering, he's always there. He has a technician there. I mean, he you've just so you've been always so great, Josh. I really thank and you. And not I'm to mention your whole transformation that you've done with your weight loss and working out. You look amazing. And I hope appreciate that you that. keep down that road because I think it's awesome. I definitely am. I actually got cleared to return to play from bicep tendinosis surgery friday awesome. uh, two two months yesterday was two months which is 
four months faster than originally thought. And the doctor said, before the surgery said, you can't negotiate science, Josh. And I looked at him and I had this smile in my head, like, you don't know what I know. And so I've been That's doing this 20 years so and the machine proves itself again. That's Thank so you very awesome. much for the compliment. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Um, uh, this is Josh Silver, founder of Pulse Energy. This is Dr. Heather White, longtime practitioner of PEMF uh, in Westlake. If you guys have any questions, reach out. Um, we'll be back with you guys again soon. Thanks Bye. so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.